Hi there, it's Paulina here at Denami Design, and I am so excited about the video that I'm going to be bringing you today. If you've attended a recent stamp show and you've seen the Denami booth, you've probably noticed that Nami's been creating some of these really adorable little punch purses recently. And I know a lot of you have been able to see her demonstrate them um, live and in person, but I know there's also quite a few people who haven't been able to attend the show before or we're not able to go to that area. So I wanted to show you how to create those purses from start to finish. Um, I know a lot of us are very visual, so it's easy to see the step-by-step -step process. And I wanted to do that for you today. Um, these are both really simple, quick and easy things to make. They're great for um, little favors for parties, especially with Christmas coming up soon. Um, if you wanted to do it for a harvest party coming up, or if you just wanted to do it just for maybe even a birthday. Um, these are great little things. And the great thing about these ones, um, you can actually fit a little nugget, a, like a chocolate nugget in there. And they also fit um, the little tiny post-it notes. And unfortunately, I don't have any here, so I can't show you, but um, I, I've heard that they do fit in there. So I wanted to show you how to create these things. We're going to start off with the pink one here, and I just wanted to show you a little close-up of it. Um, I used the new ornamental vine on this one, and then we used the whimsical oval frame for the handle. And then this little um, this little panel here is the E114 small dot circle frame. So you really only need about three stamps to create these really cute things. So I'm going to get started, and I'm going to um, be doing it on the magenta cardstock that we have and I've already pre-punched them. Um, it's the Marvy 3 inch scallop square and I've scored it down a uh, half an inch on both of the um, punched pink cardstocks. So we're going to be using the ornamental vine and I'm going to be using the onyx black VersaFine for my ink. So we're just going to stamp all over both of these cutouts and you can just rotate the stamp so it looks like it's just a nice fun pattern. And the great thing about this, you can use whatever stamps that you have. If you have some flowers, those would be perfect for this. If you have just some of our decorative stamps, um, if you have even some chickies, you can even create a little chickie purse. Um, so we're so those are those two things there. And then next we're going to be stamping on with some white cardstock and we have the E114 right here and I'm just going to be using the same ink and then next I'm using the J141 whimsical oval frame and this will be our handle for our purse okay so we're gonna punch these out now and I'm going to be using the one and a half inch Marvy scallop circle and I'm just gonna center it and punch this out and then next for this one I'm using the the purple Marvy um, scallop oval and we're just going to be doing the same thing we're just going to center it okay and let me just flip this over so you can see a little bit better so for these um, I'm going to fold this in half and the great thing about this you just need to line up the scallops and then we're going to just cut out the handle part. So there's the handle for our purse. And then for this one, we're going to mount it on a little bit bigger cardstock. So we're going to use the two inch scallop circle. And this one I'm using a black piece. So I just need to punch out black circle here. And then we're just going to adhere these together. Okay, and then this one we're just going to fold this right in half. And again, you just need to line up those scallops. Okay, so now we're starting to get all the pieces together. So we're going to fold this, and again, this is at half an inch. I just, I just scored it. Okay, and then we just need to adhere these together. So I'm just going to add some adhesive to one of these bottom parts. And then we're just going to put these together. I'm going to make sure it's nice and firm. 
And as you can see, it's starting to shape up. And then now we're going to adhere just the back part of this to one of the panels. And the reason we're not doing both sides is because then you won't be able to open the purse up easily. So we're just going to add a little glue dot at the end. Okay, now for the handle, we're just going to add some adhesive to both sides, just a little bit. And the great thing about the ATG tape, you could just, if it goes a little bit outside of the cardstock, you just roll it in, and you're just conserving the adhesive. Okay, so we're just going to adhere these together and just make sure it's nice, everything's nice and firm. And then lastly, we're just gonna add a little button. I just grabbed a little pink button from the bubblegum uh, boutique buttons that we carry. And then I'm going to be using just one of the black rhinestones that we have also online. I'm just gonna put that right on top of the button. It's just gonna add a little bit of sparkle to the, the project. Then I'm going to be just putting the button right onto the adhesive here. And we're just gonna roll it up. So it has adhesive over the whole entire button. And then you can just play around and figure out where exactly you want to put it. And then lastly, you can either just put a little bit of adhesive just on the inside of this panel, like so. And this is still going to be able to open easily. Um, but you can also just, if you wanted to do a glue dot, you would just grab a piece of the adhesive, you just roll it in a circle and then you just adhere that and that could also close out the purse. So let me grab a little chocolate here. Okay, and then I just added adhesive to the back. And that, that way the chocolate stays. And then you just close up the little purse and you've got a really cute little favor. And if you wanted to do it like at a place setting, you, it actually stands up and then you can maybe even put like um, a name plate there. So if somebody was sitting down and they can see exactly where they're going to be sitting. Um, so this is just like a little treat. It's really great. Um, you can have them lined up in a row um, and people can take them out on the way out from a party or things like that. So this is the pink and black and white one and I just love this one. This color combo is just so striking and it's great um, really for pretty much any occasion. Okay, for the next one I'm going to be doing is the Christmas kind of themed one. And as you can see it, just, it also uses three stamps. It uses the same um, whimsical oval frame and the small dot circle frame that we did before but then it's going to be using the small pine sprig which is D100. So I'm just going to quickly show you how to do that. Um, it's, it's the same exact process. I just wanted to show you a different kind of color combination. And for this one, I'm using the Olympia Green. So I'm just going to stamp the pine sprig all across. And like I mentioned, you can really use just any stamp. So this is just one of the smaller Christmas ones that I found in my stamp collection. So I just thought it would be perfect for this. Okay, and again, we're doing the same thing. We're just going to fold these over and set them aside. Then we're going to grab our white cardstock. And you're going to want to make sure you clean off the ink from the black because we're doing, using green this time. So. And once you get going on these, if you wanted to do a, even an assembly line, that'd be great. Like you can do the handles all in one day, and then the, the square parts another day. Um, you can even get your kids involved if you wanted to do one that involves some coloring. So this is a, just a really quick and easy um, thing. It's great. You can, your kids can also bring it for school, little school gifts around the holidays. So that would be fun too. Okay, so for this one we're using um, a red two inch circle. So I'm just gonna punch that out really quick. And then now we can add all these pieces together. Okay, 
And again, we're going to just fold this over. Okay, and now we're just gonna put everything together. Let me just zoom in a little bit. We're going to fold this one in half. And then add the adhesive to the handle. Okay, and then for this one, we're gonna I'm gonna grab a button from the Christmas boutique buttons, and you can see they're just like there's greens, whites, and reds. So this, any of these ones would work. I'm just gonna grab a green one, and then I'm going to use a red rhinestone, and this one's also online. This is a great way if you need ideas on how to use your small buttons. This is a fun way to incorporate those. Okay, just going to add this button here. And then we're just going to do the same. I'm just going to add a little bit of adhesive. And then let me grab a chocolate here. So there's that one, and then this is the one that we did previously. So you can see they're just really quick and simple. And I wanted to show you some other combinations that Rebecca has done in the past. Um, she did this really cute purple, blue, and white color combo. And then she's also done like a brown neutral one. And then there's one other one she's done. But like I said, you can do any kind of color combinations. You can Each one could be completely different. Um, this one is like with our charcoal and then we use the petal pink and then the white and then she used a black button here so you can just see there's, there's so many different varieties um, they all use pretty much um, the same two stamps at the top but then you can use any kinds of stamps at the bottoms and just use whatever kind you have but like it's just a really fun quick and easy um, way to just dress up some little favors and you can get your kids involved, um, you can make it a, like a work party. So it's just a great idea uh, for the holidays and for any kind of things that you're gonna have in the coming months. If you create one of these things, I'd love to see it. Um, you can send me a link on the blog or if you have a Facebook, um, you can post the picture actually to the Denami page and I would love to take a look. Um, thanks so much for watching. I hope today's video inspired you and we will see you next time. Bye-bye.